first thing we were talking about, and this has been what everyone's talking about, is Usher and herpes. Right. Now, there's <laughs> Usher. <laughs> Drum roll, please. Right. It sucks that he has a song called Let It Burn, too, because that's mm-hmm. all, that's so like fine. the ongoing joke. All the memes. Yeah, I was yeah. talking about it on The Breakfast Club, and it was playing in the background. I was, I was like, can y'all <laughs> stop playing Let It Burn? <laughs> that's what it had to been about, though. Uh-huh. Like, right? No. But then it turns no. into the- <laughs> Yes, it was. He's not. Oh, but then it turns into a discussion of, you know, if that was you, right, right, would you tell somebody, like, you had an STD? Probably not. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas ain't shit. <laughs> I'm not telling nobody. Because why do you need to tell somebody for? Because it's illegal. Because then now Oh, you might have to have sex with that person? Yeah. No, I still ain't telling. I'm just protect. I'll protect her. I'm going to get a <laughs> condom. Protect but her. you know, you can still get herpes <laughs> even if you use a condom. Well, I mean... And then you could get sued. He said, well, he's like, well, I sorry. Mean, I mean, let's go. Take I, a chance. <laughs> what's Usher's Who would have sex with me if I tell them I had herpes? People would, I guess. You could be like, I have herpes, but I'm not currently having an outbreak. You know, one in six people. People ain't trying to hear you ain't currently having an outbreak. <laughs> That's a soon as I hear herpes, it's over. <laughs> one in six people have herpes. So that means somebody in this room. Well, you was the last one in <laughs> the room with the first. Like- no. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if you get herpes, that's it. Hang it up. Stop spreading no. it around. That's disgusting. <laughs> Whoever you gave it to, y'all need to just lock it in. Yeah, lock it down. Lock it in. But let's keep it real. A lot of people do live with it. And some people have the herpes virus and never, ever have an outbreak and never have any symptoms. And some people get it and get like one or two outbreaks and never get it again. It's not like so many people have it and so many people live with it. Mm-hmm. You know, so. so if you pass it on and you didn't know you had it, is that still illegal? Like, no, that's not. Not uh, if you didn't know, but if yeah, you do you know. know so he, maybe Usher didn't know he was giving her herpes. Except that he didn't know because he, he didn't went know, to the doctor. He, already had a out, lawsuit so. he didn't know it. he was having an outbreak. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. If you know you have it, you have to let somebody know it's illegal, okay? Okay, okay. <laughs> that's gross. Now, what if a girl jail. said to you, mm-hmm. And let's just say this like the baddest chick. Not even the baddest. What if you fell in love with her and you mm-hmm. and and y'all was really in a real relationship and then she came out and was like, "Listen, I have to tell you that." I and you've already had sex with her anyway. I mean, there's nothing I can do at that point. <laughs> but would you I'm, stay with her? I might as well. Really? I, I got her. What if we you got about it? But what if we don't? <laughs> what if you, but what if you go and get tested and find out that you don't have it? Would oh, you no, still stay if, with her? If I got lucky like that, I'm straight. I'm not staying with you. You are. Cuz I didn't give it to you. Right. So for one, who gave it to you? Then for two, I'm straight. I don't want herpes just because I love you. I'm straight. We can be cool. I'll take you to the doctor. You need a ride. I'm straight though. You need a ride. (laughs) Okay. What if it's somebody that you really like and been liking for a long time and had the opportunity and she told you, just so you know, I I am do have the herpes virus, but I've never had an outbreak. Honestly, it's it's no matter how bad she is, no matter how much I love her, it's nothing. That's gonna make me want to take that. I agree. Upon myself. That's a fact. That's a deal breaker, bro. Okay, well, <laughs> that brings us to the little game we gonna play right now. <laughs> You're it's called the time to tell. Right. When do you reveal certain things? Like, do you tell on the first date, the third date, when you get in a relationship, or never tell? Now, what would you tell if you've ever been engaged to somebody? If you're dating somebody, is that something you tell right away? Do you wait till you get on like the third, fourth date? I think that's something somebody would want to know right away. Because I probably would want to know that right away. On the first date? Yeah. It depends on how, 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 how the connection is. Mm-hmm. If we ain't really getting nowhere, I ain't going to tell you. But if we first if date, like we like talking, you. we know we're going to have another date, then I'm going to tell you. What do you guys think? I think um, I don't. I think that's something you tell somebody when you're more serious with them. So, like when you are, because I I feel like when you're starting, when you're in the beginning of a relationship with somebody, a new relationship, I don't think it's a good idea to talk about your past relationships at all. Okay, you know what I mean, like. I'm not. I don't really care if you were engaged before. Like, so why are you telling me about your ex? I don't really care. <laughs> so. You know what I mean. So I feel like it's something when you're more comfortable with. Maybe not in a relationship, but not the first date or the third date. Aren't you curious though? Like, well, why did your last relationship end? Isn't that something that you ask? Like, kind of. I would be. Ca- I'm no, curious about especially that. Especially if y'all was engaged. Yeah. What I killed the wit? What stopped the wit? You know, I interview brother. people for a living. I want to know. Yeah, I want to know why y'all not <laughs> together no more. Not I'm, me. I don't want no information about your past relationships. It's none of my business. It has nothing to do with me. But your past kind of shows you your future sometimes. Plus, people lie. Like, let's keep it real. If a girl people asks you, lie. like, what happened with your last relationship? And are you going to be like, well, I used to cheat all the time? I cheated on a 
I'm going to blame it on her. You're going to blame it on her, right? blame it on her. She cheated. <laughs> right, exactly. Nine out of ten times, the person's not even going to be honest with you anyway. So, yeah. Damn, that's horrible. Well, let me ask y'all right. then. I was engaged twice, and I never tell any of my my anybody I'm dating that. Well, you just told everybody on lip service. <laughs> but I mean, I talk about that that's here. I've said it yes. here. I've yeah. said it here on lip service many times. Right. You know what I mean? I, I nine. I'm, I'm pretty sure that nine. It's like a big chance that the guy that I'm dating is not listening to the hopefully lip service. Is it wrong that I don't feel like that's I would know? I think I would know. Like if y'all didn't get married or no shit like that. Like all right, engaged. I get it. But like guys do stuff like that all the time. Like I don't want her to leave me. I'm a propose to her like I know guys that have done that before mm -hmm. so if somebody says to me like I used to be engaged before okay motherfucker like did you leave her at the altar now if it's some shit like that I want to know like <laughs> right. you know, we was all I the agree. way up there she in a dress too. and I bailed on that okay well let me yeah, ask you why, why did get you out guys of the car. end your last real <laughs> relationship big. we're gonna start with you Gigi why did what why did your last relationship end cause he's a whore oh. next see we always blame <laughs> the other person She's but it nice. wasn't you know it was him okay it wasn't me <laughs> it wasn't me. But we can't all take responsibility because I'm partly it is, you know, sometimes <clears throat> we mess up too. Yeah. I've messed up before. Mm -hmm. And it don't even have to be cheating. It could be other things. But, you know, my relationship, relationship ended because he was a whore. Because I like to hear what Next. people say because if you ask him, he probably <laughs> say something different. Something about you. Right. Of course, of course he's like going to say reason. that it was me. <laughs> well, Loria, why would you say your last relationship ended? Um, I had, we actually had a lot of problems with similar, like he messed around with other women and stuff like that. And I wasn't okay with that. Like some girls or girls he has, women he have dated before were okay with it. Mm -hmm. And they knew he was dealing with multiple women. They was like, okay, I'm not going to shut the fuck up. And if you call that being confrontational or argumentative, then it is what it is. But like, that was the problem. So I became a problem too. Because mm -hmm. I'm like, well, where the fuck are you going? What are you doing? I started to become annoying because he was a dog. Right. But you, you know stayed. I mean? You tried to stay. I did stay for a while. Mm -hmm. But that shit just kept getting worse and worse. It was like awful. Right. You thought he was going to change or you just wasn't? I did because you know what? When I had conversations with him, like I knew the person he was before and I seen him change. So I just thought he was going to keep changing because mm -hmm. I changed. I was a dog too. Shit. I used to, <laughs> I was. Shit. I used to talk to this nigga, that nigga, this. You know what I mean? But then like when I grew up more, it was just like I was just with him. So he's telling me, oh, we just going to be together, me and you. You changed me. I believed it. Right. And it might be naive or whatever, but when you're in love with somebody, you tend to believe what they say. You want to believe you it. You want to believe what it. What about you, T. Grizzly? Your last relationship, why did it end? Mm -hmm. Let's see what he says. Because I got out. You and got out person, of jail? And yeah. The person who I was talking to, it wasn't the same person when I got out. Like, we wasn't compatible. We wasn't no... Mm -hmm. It wasn't nothing there. And I'm not going to force it. Mm -hmm. You feel me? We can still be cool, but it's not no relationship material type of, you feel me, connection. How so much she time held you down while you was locked up? Huh? She held you down while you was locked up, though. Yeah. For how long? That's cool, but... Three years? Mm. Three years. And as soon as you came out, it was like over? No, not soon. As I tried to well, do damn. it. I tried. <laughs> you feel me? I sat down with her, talked to her, went over her house a couple times. He like, thanks for the commentary, <laughs> please. Thanks for the conversation <laughs> and the pictures you sent. Because <laughs> I can't force it. Like, I'd rather, I'd rather, I can't do it. Was I wouldn't it, be happy. Was she different or were you different? Um, Because you know they got jail talk. Yeah, I was on my jail talk for. Yeah, see, that's what sure I was jail talk. You got to be on your jail talk, though, because you ain't got nobody in there. So whoever you got, you got to make sure they. Think that they're everything. Think they're everything. That's we about to, fucked up. That's the reality of it, though. Uh, he's keeping it real. That's the reality of it, though. Is she mad now? No, because I still be, you feel me, whatever you need, I'm here for you. Oh, I'm here for you. Mm. I ain't going to just turn my back on you. We cool and all that. Whenever you need me, I'm here. But it can't be that, though. Well, damn. It can't be what I said it was. So it's good to break up with somebody when they go to jail. But were you saying, like, we're going to be together, get married? Like, I said all that. Damn. And married, you never, like, kids, all that. Did you and believe you didn't mean it? it? I did. I wanted. I did when I was writing. I did. Mm -hmm. I did. When you was away. When I was away, I was even telling dudes like, I ain't gonna go out there. She, I'd be a fool. And she did all this time, mm -hmm. but I couldn't do it though. And she didn't sleep with nobody else. I don't know. I wasn't out here to say that. Right. She should do like a first day out remix of what he did. <laughs> yeah, this <and> him. <laughs> <laughs> this track. Yeah, she got to. <laughs> That would be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about how she held him down. In Hell it. yeah. All right. I mean, I ain't completely turned my back on her, though. Right, right. I right. feel you. 
You just, you know. You gave us some tickets to the show. Yeah. Yeah, all that. You feel me? But They was in the middle, though. You deserve somebody that that, that, that wants you. That, that That's you. a fact. Why, you know, why a leader on? Okay, Steph, what about you? Last situation. Why would you say you guys broke up? Um, Because he went to jail and he didn't want to be with me anymore. <laughs> It's like the opposite situation. Nope. <laughs> yeah. No, dudes be on that though, because it's like yeah. I know seeing, but I know seeing about to be faithful to me. I ain't about to put myself through that. I, mm. Yeah, I told, but I told him from the Jump Street that I was gonna, I wasn't gonna be faithful to him while he was in jail. <laughs> oh well. I told him I was like, you know, I like to have sex. I'm not gonna not have sex for two years. Maybe I'll go a couple months, but I'm definitely gonna have sex while you're in jail. Your last two months before you come home, while I chill. <laughs> Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he was he was he was gone. He's he's already um out uh, um, out of jail now. But right. we broke up. I felt like you tried though. Like you wanted no, to. No, I wanted cheat. to. I would have um I would have I would have I would have held him down. I would have did any anything I had to do for him. I would have gone to the visits, whatever it was that I needed to do, but and I would have probably been fucking with somebody else. I probably would have dated around while he was in jail, honestly. But I wasn't going to tell him about it and right. hurt him, you know. He would have never found out about it. But, I mean, keeping it, like, I feel like unspoken thing. Like, you know me and you know I'm I'm, 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 I'm going to need somebody to eat my pussy at one point or another. You know? <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? You talk That's to just being been? honest. He probably got somebody sucking his dick, so. What? <laughs> <laughs> so he he broke up with me. He, he you said ain't he, talked to him since you been home. Nah, we um I, I I you know he was gone for two years. We didn't speak for most of the time. He was in jail, and you know I'm 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 you know on totally on something totally different now. You know what I mean? Right. right. He kind of did you a favor. No, he did. I feel like he did the best thing because we probably weren't gonna end up breaking up anyway. Because there was probably gonna be a time when mm -hmm. I flew on when I went on vacation with somebody and I was gonna be able to answer my calls. You right. know, and that was gonna drive him crazy. And then it was gonna be my fault that we broke up. So. <laughs> At least, you know, I can be the I can be that person and blame it on him and be telling the truth. 